Low roller. Tough play. Cano cannot make the play. And here comes Austin again. Dean. Second night in a row, the Marlins take nothing for granted on an infield ground ball and score a run. That is what you love to see from this team. The home runs are fun, Paul. You know it. We've seen it all season long. The hustle is what will help them improve and get better as the story moves forward next season. Dean flying around third base. Freddie sending him all the way. It takes the hustle of the player to buy into what you're all about. You can't assume anything. Dean is expecting Birdie to be safe at first base. That's why he's running so fast. Rosario goes with the pitch hit to left center field. Rosario tracking the ball all the way. Sprints around second on his way to third. He's coming home and wow. he will score. Brilliant base running by Eddie Rosario. And the Twins have tied it up on a single. And now CJ Crone's going to take one of those six packs from his infielders <laughs> and hand it over to Rosario for that RBI he just picked up on that single right there. That was great base running. Red Sox trying to come all the way back and win. Devers, little tapper, third base side. Charging is Suarez. Throws to first, too late. Mookie coming home. Throw, too late. Safe. He's safe. And the Red Sox lead it 5-4. to four. Terrific base running by Mookie Betts. Scoring from second base on a ground ball to third. You know, he had that in his mind right when he saw that ball hit so slowly to third. Boy, what an inning for number 50. Seven days a week. One two coming. And he hits it slowly down to third. The runners are going to hold. Camargo throws now, breaking for the plate is Frazier. Uh -huh. Freeman's throw not in time. Terrific base running by Todd Frazier. He went halfway down the line, followed Camargo. And once Camargo released it, Frazier was home. And the Mets have a one nothing lead. Now watch the shortstop here also, if you can, folks. Swanson comes over. And if there's any kind of verbal communication, that's good base running by by Frazier, no question. They don't change their swing depending on situation. They have the same swing like that all the time. Into the opposite field for Pence. Tagging up is Seeger. The throw is cut off, and now they've got Puig in a run down. And Puig is safe, and the run scores! In trying to get Puig to end the inning, nobody paid attention to Corey Seager, who almost jogged to score that run. And this is a mistake by Puig and the Dodgers gone good. Good job here by Pence, hits the cutoff man. Everything to this point is done perfectly. And really nice job by Puig, delaying the play and allowing Seeger to score. And, and telling Corey Seeger, I mean, he was facilitating that entire thing as he's running back to first base. He's waving Corey Seeger to go home and got himself safe. Now, the, the mistake there was by Joe Panic. Good outfielder. Kane back up the middle, backhanded Baez, and now Yelich is going to be caught in a rundown. Kane on his way to second. Yelich trying to stay in it as long as he can. And now Yelich is safe. Smart. And now Kane is going to be safe at first. Wow. What a heads up play by Lorenzo Kane. Unbelievable. I mean, you talk about thinking that one through. He never touched second base. He allowed Yelich to get back to second. Nobody was at first. And he just scooted back to first base. I mean, that's brilliant. I mean, it how is. many guys are going to think that way? I mean, that is just smart, smart baseball by Lorenzo Kane. My goodness. I have never seen that. That gave me goosebumps. Man, me too. <laughs> and look at it. Check it out. It. He's saying, go ahead. He sees nobody at first base. Go. And he's able to sneak back to first base. Man. Wow. That is so good. That is on so many levels to have the situational awareness of Lorenzo Kane. And popped up. Goins. 
Lightning is coming in and he'll make the play. The runner at third is going to fake a tag and now Donaldson in a run round between first and second and he's tagged on the backside and now Freddie streaking for the play. The ball is cut off and he's safe. How about that play? That's just how you draw it up. He's out in a rundown. One of the White Sox players might have gotten spiked. And then the throw cut off, and Freddie slides in ahead of the relay. How about that?